Hey everyone, welcome to Kotlin Tips. Today we are unshadowing things with fully qualified names. Interestingly enough, this quick tip uh, came from something that stumped me and a friend uh, of mine a while ago, so I figured I'd share it with all of you as well. Um, we were in this situation uh, where we had a class which defined the member function open file, um, and we also had a top level function called open file. Now inside the repository class, uh, we wanted to open the file um, using the function that was out here. But interestingly enough, when you just do an autocomplete like I just did, the only suggestion you're getting is the member function, because this one is the one in the closest scope, so it would make sense that that is the one that you probably want. But we really wanted to use this function, which was a problem because its name was being shadowed in here. Now, obviously this isn't a situation that you might encounter all that often, but when you do, it's useful to know that you can always refer to symbols like a top level function using their fully qualified name, which means the package name, in my case, that's iosebi demo, um, and then the function name. And you can already see that the highlight has changed. And when, if I navigate between these functions, you can see that it's now the top level function and no longer the member function. So when names are being shadowed and you are looking for a way to get to that one specific implementation of that thing that has the name that everyone else also has, then fully qualified names might come to your rescue. Hope you found this one useful. See you in the next one.